This is section 2.4, Limits and Continuity. And in this video, we're going to go through an example of how to solve for when they're asking us where a function is discontinuous. All right, so this is number 23 in your book. It gives us this function, and it's asking us to find the points of discontinuity. Okay, this function it makes it kind of nice because it's a fraction. Whenever you see a fraction and you're solving for discontinuities, all you want to do is just set the denominator, denominator equal to zero. You're looking for values of x where the function is not defined at that point. In other words, where it's discontinuous. So remember, you can't divide by zero. So let's set the denominator equal to zero, find our points of discontinuity. When we set 4x minus 2 equal to zero and solve for x, we get 2 over 4, or 1 half. And that's it. Our point of discontinuity is that x equals 1 half. And um, just a pro tip, whenever you have some number over zero, that's going to give you an infinite discontinuity. So there will be an asymptote at that point, x equals 1 half. Um, and the graph will be going either up to positive infinity or down to negative infinity. And if you want to think of um, why this makes sense, why it's an infinite discontinuity, let's think about it. As x is getting closer and closer to 1 half from both the right and the left side, this value is getting closer and closer to 0. It's going to become a really, really small decimal, either positive or negative. As a really, really small decimal gets divided into some other number, that's bigger than it, that really, really small number, for it to go into any other number, it's going to need to go into it an infinite number of times. So that's why as a when you set the denominator equal to zero and solve for x, at that value, you're going to have an infinite discontinuity. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts covered in this video are true no matter what calculus class you're in, but all the sections and problems I referenced were from this textbook right here. And remember that if you're a registered Baylor student, we offer free tutoring on the first floor of Sidridge. You can either schedule a one-on-one -on -one appointment online or just drop in whenever you're available during our business hours for free tutoring. For more information, feel free to visit our website.